Assalamu alaikum, little friends. Welcome back to Islamic Kids National. Today, we're going to learn about Surah An-Nas. Did you know that Surah An-Nas is the last surah in the Quran? That means that it is surah number 114. Wow! There are so many beautiful surahs in the Quran. Surah An-Nas is recited with Surah Al-Falaq as we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's protection in both. We learned about Surah Al-Falaq in our previous video, so make sure to check that out to learn its wonderful meanings. The link will be in the description box down below. So, let's dive deep into the wonderful meanings of this surah. We begin by saying, repeat after me, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, which means, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Moving on to ayah 1. Repeat after me. Qul a'udhu bi rabbin nas. Which means, say, I seek help and protection with the Lord of all the people. Which means that I seek help and protection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ayah 2. Repeat after me. Malikin nas. The king of all the people. So when you hear the word king, you might be thinking about the king that rules countries. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not that type of king. He is the king of the entire universe. Now moving on to ayah 3. Repeat after me. Ilahin nas. Which means the God of all the people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one and only worthy of worship. So in ayahs 1, Two and three, we are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help and protection because he is our Rabb, the Lord, Al Malik, the King, and Al Ilah, the only one that must be worshipped. Now moving on to ayah four. Repeat after me. Which means from the evil of the whisperer who keeps coming back. The evil whisperer here is Shaitan, who keeps coming back and forth with his evil whispers. Ayah 5. Repeat after me. <laughs> Which means, the one who whispers in the chests of people. Shaitan tries to whisper bad things in our hearts so he can make us do them. Ayah 6. Min al jinnati nas Which means, from the jinn and the people. This means that shaitan has many helpers, both from people and from jinn. The jinn are another creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we cannot see. Now let's listen to the recitation of Surah An-Nas. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس One more time, so it can better help you to memorize. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس and that's it for this video, everyone. I hope this video has helped you to understand the wonderful meanings of the last surah of the Quran, Surah An-Nas. This surah has taught us to be very careful about the bad things that we think about because they are from the evil shaitan. Shaitan is always trying to keep us away from doing good things. This is why it's really important that we recite Surah An-Nas every day so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can always protect us from shaitan's evil whispers. 
And don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Let's spread the wonderful words of Allah with all of our fellow friends. Stay tuned for more videos in which we will learn the meaning of other surahs, inshallah. And I will see you in my next class, kids. Goodbye!